I have never done this. It. I've been thinking about something a lot lately, and I've been thinking about the projects that I want to do. My video game recording, my YouTube channel, all of that stuff, and I've been thinking about the like. Oh, is it the stuff in the past that has been keeping me from? wanting to do and doing and I know that what does that is a lot of stuff from the past that I've been holding on to and I know that's what it is and I know one of those major things is Grandma Rumsey I don't know like I never I never actually stood up to her before she died, before she passed, and I don't know, I need to let that go. I do. It's, it's I've never had a chance to say to her what I actually thought or stand up to her, and so I kind of wrote that at work, and you know, I wanted to be able to say it out loud, and yeah, record it, say it out loud, because writing it's one thing, but I just, I wanted to be able to say it, and it's, yeah, it's, like I said, I never stood up to her, honestly, honestly, I have never cried for my grandma Rumsey, I, I haven't, I probably never will. I mean, I remember when mom called me and told me I was asleep, half asleep, and she called me and said it, and I kind of answered the phone, she told me that grandma had passed away, and I was just like, oh, okay, and as soon as I hang up with her, I went back to sleep. So, yeah, but, you know, what I wanted to say to her, and you know what, what I'm going to finally fucking say to her is basically this it's you know I won't miss visiting you I won't miss you attacking like everything I am and I won't miss your fucking bullshit like it's I loved you because you know and I still do because you're my grandma but honestly I never liked you as a person I never really did like, I still don't. But it's... I remember once, like... I told you once, I can't remember the conversation, but I told you once that I thought, you know, normal was highly overrated, and you said that, no, you know, normal is the way that God made you all that fucking bullshit. But I told you that, you know, normal is highly overrated, and... And honestly, you just kind of looked at me like, I don't know, I just like spat on a Bible or something. But, you know, like, I still believe that, you know, I still believe that normal is highly overrated. And yeah, I still fucking believe it. I always will. And, you know, uh yeah, and you know, like, I like not being considered normal. Like, I like my nerdiness. I like my anime stuff. Like, my video games, cosplaying, all that stuff. I fucking love it. Yeah, I, I still do. But and I know, too, like, I know, too, the biggest thing that would probably be tearing you apart right now if you were still alive is my transition. I know that would be the biggest thing. And honestly, you're the last person I would ever expect compassion about this from. And in fact, you'd probably slap me. And I remember before I left for California, the last thing you said to me, and this was the last time I actually ever talked to you before you died, the last... the last thing you said to me 
was take that nail polish off, you're a boy. It's the last thing you said to me. I can't read without these on. <laughs> that was the last thing you said to me. But, you know what? I fucking love my transition. Like, I really do. And I'm really, really fucking happy being a girl. Like, I do. I love all of it. I love these. Like, I love these things right here. <laughs> and I, you know, I haven't regretted a single moment of it. Like, I haven't. And I'm not going to. Yeah. It's like I haven't regretted a single set. So, you know, honestly, Grandma, love me, hate me, whatever. But the honest truth is... I don't care what you think. I don't. I don't give a damn what you think. Yeah, and... It's... I don't know, like... I the first time I decided not to go to church. Like, you just sat at the bottom of the stairs and you looked at me and... You know, I said, like, I don't want to go. And you said, I don't care what you want. You've said that to me. You know, take the nail polish off. You're a boy. You know, the devil has a hold of me. These are all things that you've said to me. And, yeah, I don't know. Like, these are all things that you've said to me. And, you know, if whether you know it or not, they did have an effect. It, it's been a shitty effect. I haven't liked it, and that's why I'm fucking doing this, because I need this. Because I need to say something. Because I fucking hated it. You know, like... <laughs> you know, I know, like... Uh, it's, yeah, I don't know, like, it's pretty much all I had written down, but, it's, you know, I know, I know that I fucked up in the past, I really do, like, trust me, I know that I fucked up in the past, but, you know, Grandma, it's like you never thought that I changed. You never thought that I became anything different. And honestly, I have. I have changed. And, you know, I mean, part of the reason you didn't think I had changed is because, you know, you... You know, you saw a certain thing. It's... You may have said and thought, and you know, you may have loved me, but you loved an image. You loved what you wanted me to become. Like, that's the only thing. You loved what you wanted me to become. And you know, that's not me. But, yeah, like, that's not me, and I'm happy about that. You know, it's honestly, like, there is only one time in my life, one time, that I ever remember you saying, you know, like, <laughs> was only one time. I remember you actually saying that you were proud of me. And that was when I came home. Ah, I took a trip somewhere, somewhere. I can't remember. But after I came home, that was the only time. But, you know, we were at Walmart and I bought, like, a Dragon Ball Z thing. And you're, you know, I'm proud of you immediately turned into you freaking yelling at me. And you glaring at me. And you saying, oh, you haven't fucking changed. And that freaking...
fucking hurt. Yeah, you know, it's that hurt. But, let's say the point is, like, I love you, Grandma, like, you're my grandma and I love you, but I don't fucking like you. Honestly, like, I don't care if you like what I've become, I don't care if you don't like it. I don't care. I like what I've become, like, I like it. So, honestly, like, I need to stop thinking about you. I need to stop letting your bullshit keep me back. And I'm going to. Like, this, this is part of that, you know? Like, I love your grandma, but I don't like you. You're a narrow, judgmental person. You always freaking were. And I don't know, maybe passing has changed that, but just the point of it is, you know, I like who I am. I don't give a shit if you don't. So just honestly leave me alone. Like, I remember, and I think I told Gretchen about this, but I had a dream, like, years and years ago. And that's the thing, too. Like, this was a years and years ago dream, and, you know, I still remember it. I still what was said, all that stuff. And the basic gist of it were me and Grandma were in Denver, and there was, we were coming out of a place, and there was, like, soldiers kind of in anime video game inspired armor but <laughs> there were soldiers that were waiting and I remember they never said anything but but I got the distinct impression of a mask like that they wanted to shove me back underneath a mask and after you know kind of anime video game inspired fights I walked back over to you and I hugged you and I looked at you and said, I love you, but I don't want to be you. And I still hold to that, you know, like, I still love who I am. Like, I still think normal is highly overrated. Like, I still love you, but I don't want to fucking be you. Because, honestly, and this may hurt, but you're a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess that's all. Like, I need to let this go and I'm not gonna let this stop me from going forward anymore so yeah that's basically all I wanted to say to her and it's what I wanted to say out loud so <laughs> yeah uh, yeah and you know you know you know you know how like you made me get a different wallet Oh, that's another thing, too, that I just remembered. When I was leaving on that trip, she made me get a freaking different wallet, and the bitch threw away my Dragon Ball Z wallet, because you made it. But she made me get another wallet, and we were talking about it, and she said to me, you know, people will laugh at you, and people will make fun of you for having the Dragon Ball Z wallet. And I remember, without missing a beat, I said, I don't care about those people. And, you know, I was proud of myself for that. I still am proud of myself for that. And I still believe that. Like, I still believe that. You know, I love my anime stuff. I like cosplaying. I like all that stuff. And, you know, I don't care about the people that laugh at me and make fun of me. I don't give a shit. Because, honestly, like, you know, those aren't the people that I keep in my life. Like, people that laugh at me, the people that make fun of me. I probably will never see them again. It's like, it's not the type of people that I keep in my life, so why should I care? But, yeah, basically that's all I want to say. And you threw away my Dragon Ball Z wallet, you bitch, but guess what? Your death wallet. <laughs> but, yeah. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs>